Good day to you, YouTubers. Today I want to talk about cookies and how to get around a few things. That uh, One thing that annoys me is the Google News, for example. What they'll do is they'll put uh, a lot of articles here from pay-per-view sites. For example, the Wall Street Journal, Washington Post, New York Times. So after you've uh, viewed so many articles per day, they will shut you out and then you have to either pay, you know, you have to log in or pay. So I'm going to show you how to get around that and uh, keep them from tracking you. So for example, here's the Wall Street Journal right here. I'm going to click on this article here and you will see. So this one is good right now, but then what happens? See, it wants you to subscribe. Act now, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let me refresh this and it will probably kick me out. Okay, so it says to read the full story, I need to subscribe. So it shut me out because I have too many views on Wall Street Journal for today. Um, and that, so that's tracked by cookies. So what we want to do is we want to go to settings. So we want to pull the three dots on Chrome. Uh, if you're using Internet Explorer or what have you, you want to do the same thing. Go into the settings of the, of the uh, tool. But uh, I'm only going to talk about Chrome today. So three dots, settings. So let's go to this window here. So then what you want to do is you want to scroll down to the Advanced tab and click on this. And then we go to Privacy and Security and into Control Settings. Control what information websites can use. Okay. Now, uh, if you're using an older version of, uh, of Chrome or what have you, things might be a little bit different. But just go into the cookies. So right here it says cookies allow sites to read cookie data. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this off. Al allow sites to save and read cookie data. Also, uh, block third parties. We're going to keep that on. Okay, so what we've done is we've blocked all the cookies from being read. So now if we go back into this Russian article here. Okay, what happens is it, it will take a, a, a minute or so. Uh, what we can do is just kill this window and then let's start another one, see if that has refreshed it already. Okay, so now it's open. Okay, so that now you can read the article because you're not being tracked by these cookies on the Wall Street Journal for the day. Let's see if we refresh this. Sometimes it takes a, a few minutes to uh, kick in. I don't know why, it's very strange. So let's just refresh it four or five, six times. Usually it kicks right in, but uh, okay, there we go. So now we can read this article. So actually, if we go to any other article in the Wall Street Journal, then let's see what happens. It should show this article, which it does. Okay, so there's no blocking taking effect now because we've turned off the cookies and it doesn't know how many times we've uh, been into the site. Uh, you can do the same thing for Android. Uh, you go up to settings and the settings over here are on site settings in the Android so you can click on this and then cookies so right now you could see I've allowed everything so I can just turn that off so one of the things is that uh, you for some sites you don't want to turn off all the cookies so what you can do up here in the in the URL um, it says this page was prevented from saving cookies. So if I click on this, then let's say there's sites that I want to go to. So what you want to do is a default turn off all your cookies so nobody can see you and track you. Um, but over here, what we can do is we can allow certain sites. For example, I have an email site that I need to get to, uh, Google I need to get to. Um, I can't block I can't block the cookies on there. Otherwise, they just won't work at all. So if I wanted to, I can turn the cookies on for any site that I want. I just click this and done, and then it adds that to my acceptable sites. So I'll be able to get into them because uh, there are many sites that you do want to get into. For example, Craigslist, um, you know, I go to all the time and I click on, uh, I, I just need that one. So that's how you do that. And so what this will do is it will it will keep them from tracking you and you can get into all these news articles and what have you. OK, I hope that helps. And uh, there is one other thing I wanted to show you. Um, one of the things if you go up into the uh, up here or the 
view site information is. Um, if I go here, you'll see there's 19 cookies in use from Google. But let's go back to the Wall Street Journal over here. And if I click on this here, view site information, there's zero cookies in use. So that's good. So that tells me that uh, nothing's being used. So let's go back to the settings here and let's turn this content back on. So I'm going and I'm going to unblock the cookies and I'm going to show you some things here. If I go back to this one, there's 31 cookies in use now. And let's refresh this and let's see what happens. Okay, so now it kicks me back out. So I want to show you this. Now there's 53 in use. Just by now there's 58 in use. So you can see what's happening. You're being tracked by tons and tons of things. So if you click on this cookies here, it will show you what's being tracked. Okay. So if we go into double click cookies, it shows you what uh, functionality it's tracking. So in the Wall Street Journal, cookies, all this stuff is being tracked. Okay. Local storage. So this probably right here is where they track your uh, stuff uh, on how many times you visited. I'm not sure. Okay. Okay. So that tells you how many cookies are being used. Uh, one thing, when you when you click on a website too, down in the bottom left, at least on Chrome, you'll be able to see uh, what kind of information they're sending to to people. Facebook is everywhere. Uh, let's see. Well, no, it's not in there right now. But Facebook tracks your location, even if you're just on a page that is not Facebook, because they have all kinds of stuff in there. Um, so. Okay, hope this helps.